Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a registered dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're teeth talking about the differences between a bachelor's in dental hygiene and an associate's in dental hygiene. Everyone always asks me in the comments, will I get paid more as a dental hygienist with a bachelor's versus a dental hygienist with an associate's? And the simple answer is no, if we're talking clinically, right? Chair side in the op, which is the traditional job as a dental hygienist. You generally will not get paid more just because you have a bachelor's degree. However, Maybe there are some dentists out there that will say that they'll actually pay you more upfront. I'm sure that's a possibility, but I've never really heard about it. What I have heard though, is that having a bachelor's degree may help your resume stand out when you're applying for jobs. So maybe say there are five people that have very similar resumes and the one thing you have that the other four don't, if you're one of the five, is having your bachelor's. Maybe that will help you get that interview, right? You never know. But if we are talking about private practice, I've never heard of a hygienist with a bachelor's having a salary advantage. So why would you want to get your bachelor's degree then? Will it benefit you in any other way? Personally, I do think a bachelor's is valuable for many different reasons, but I also don't think it has to be in the subject of dental hygiene. Like you can get your associates in dental hygiene and your bachelor's in something else. But either way, a bachelor's degree is sometimes considered a standard degree in the corporate business world. Nowadays, some people even compare it to as normal of a thing as getting your high school diploma. But also having said that, maybe not because there's lots of people, there's tons of people that don't go to college and still succeed. So that's a whole topic for another video discussion, not related to dental hygiene. The point is that everyone is different, you do you. So let's talk about the benefits to be a dental hygienist with a bachelor's degree. Having one can open the door a little easier to multiple career options within the dental world, other than working clinically chair-side in the op. So if you want to do something else as a hygienist, such as being a dental hygiene instructor or working in sales or many other things, I actually have a video dedicated to all the career opportunities and options for a dental hygienist, which I will link that video in the bottom bar below. I have a whole list of different dental hygiene careers other than working chair-side, if you're interested, check it out. So if you are someone who is interested in going back to school to get your bachelor's degree, remember it does not have to be in dental hygiene. It could be in anything, any subject, in addition to the dental hygiene associates degree that you already have. And if you're someone who's not a dental hygienist yet, you're starting fresh, it's up to you. If you want to apply to programs that offer a bachelor's in dental hygiene, just think about what you would want to do with that degree in the world of dentistry. An example of a dental hygiene bachelor's degree job would be working in sales for a dental company. Can you maybe get a sales job with only having your associates? Sure, but many corporate jobs do sometimes require some type of bachelor's degree. Now, if you decide to get your associates in dental hygiene and a bachelor's in a different subject, that can also open up even more, so, so, so many more doors to different career opportunities. An example of a non-dental hygiene bachelor's degree job could be like if you have a bachelor's in biology like mine, you could maybe work in a science research lab. Again, can you maybe work in a science research lab with your associates in dental hygiene? Maybe, sure. But will you be a better candidate if you have a degree in science as well? Definitely. It just depends on the job you are looking for. I am not at all a school guidance counselor or a career counselor or anything like that. I just have been super involved in this dental hygiene industry for a while now, traveling to conference and meetings and seminars and all that stuff. So I feel like I have a little insight, a little gauge into different career options and various things you can do with your degree. And just remember that you can really get creative and make whatever you want out of this career. You can get your associates and work in private practice traditionally and be happy treating your patients and saving smiles every day. Or you can get your bath bachelor's in dental hygiene and decide to go back for even more after that, like a master's and be happy creating a dental hygiene public health program or something like that. Or you can be happy having your associate's degree in dental hygiene and going back for a bachelor's degree in chemistry and working in a forensic science lab studying tooth morphology. The options are truly endless. And like I said, I have a whole video about the different options for dental hygiene careers, which I will link in the bottom bar below. Whether you have your associates, your bachelor's or your master's, this video covers it all. So consider checking it out. But in conclusion for this video, Generally, a bachelor's degree will not provide you a higher salary than if you had an associate's degree working traditionally chair-side in the op as a clinical dental hygienist. However, having a bachelor's, whether it's in dental hygiene or in something else, can possibly open the doors to different career opportunities that may or may not be higher paying jobs. Lastly, I also have a video all about the schooling and the degrees and the different routes to become a dental hygienist. So if you haven't started school yet, you might enjoy that video, which of course I'll also link below in the bottom bar. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you're interested in more Teeth Talk or dental hygiene school stuff, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, where I have a search bar so you can search for a specific dental topic and find a video or article that goes along with it. And until next time, peace, love, and teeth. Happy teeth. You see it? Happy teeth, happy teeth.